What is up everybody, it's back here Anakin, and today we're back with another Doki Doki A Fallen Angel mod video. Now if you didn't see yesterday's video, it got super tense, we got into the deep stuff we did, Yuri and Monica had a fight, we started to, we started to talk to Yuri and we try and help her, we also found out about, about Natsuki, we can see the depression coming into Sayori, but we can't save the other girls. And apparently the ending's horrible, so if you haven't watched yesterday's video, go check out the little icon in the top right hand side of the screen. And you can watch it now. If you haven't watched it, watch it before this. If you haven't watched the last episode, watch the first one. There'll be a playlist link up there too. Okay, let's get straight into this. I'm always right. <laughs> you and I share a small laugh. I guess in the end I accomplished my goal and made friends. As we say up our tea, an idea strikes me. Light bulb. She's a bit confused. Yuri, do you want to visit Sayori? Sayori? Yeah, yesterday she seemed really down because you weren't there. Well, I don't want her feeling blue. I would love to pay Sayori a visit. Great, she'll be happy to see both of us. We finish our tea and head towards Sayori's house. Oh, wait. She better not be in her room, hanging. She better be okay. Idiot, aren't you and Sayori neighbours? Yep, that's my house right there. Point of a house next to where we are. Anyway... Yeah, yeah, she had to go with us for saying anyways. Let's go inside. You're, you're just going to walk inside? Relax, I texted her early saying I was coming over. Plus, Sayori and I have been friends for a long time. It's completely normal for us just to waltz into each other's homes. Sayori? It's a bit uncouth for Sayori not to be rushing down to greet me. No. And Yuri's here too. I walk upstairs to Sayori's room as Yuri hesitantly follows. Knock on the door. Sayori, can I come in? Sayori doesn't answer. No, don't do this. This happens so often. Every time I see like anything like this in a brand new day and all that, I hate it. I don't want. I hate this. Don't do it to me, game. Say you're always, always home. Knock on the door once more. You better be dressed, cause I'm coming in. And Jenny, open the door. Say, oh God, thank God she's fine. Jesus. Say Yuri, thank God you're okay. Idiot. Yuri, what are you doing here? Well, you and I were having tea together, and I thought it'd be fun to pay you a visit. I see. This isn't right. Bringing Yuri should have made Sayori happier, but it seems to have accomplished just the opposite. You have a lovely home, Sayori. Thank you, Yuri. Yeah, you can see that's like a sad smile. She's trying to hide it. Is it just you here? Yep, my parents are always on business trips, so it's just me and Mr. Cow. Sayori points over a stuffed cow at the foot of a bed. Uh, Sayori? Yes? That's a female. What? Males don't have udders. Is that so? <laughs> Well, this is fun, right? All of us to get my sense cut by a phone. Yeah, I think it's Monica is calling us. I reach for my pocket, but it's not mine. Do I turn towards Yuri? I'm sorry, but I have to take this. Yuri steps aside and answers the phone. That's gonna be Monica. Now it's just me, Sayori, and Mr. Cow. Mi Mrs. Cow? We sat in awkward silence for a moment. So you and Yuri, huh? Wh wait, Sayori. I don't know what you're ga going in your head, but I promise it's not like that. You can't hide your feelings, idiot. It's obvious since day one you knew I've been falling for each other. My face is red hot right now. So you must have turned her AC off. I, I don't know what you mean. It's really great seeing you make friends. I'm I'm really happy for you. No, no, something's wrong. Yeah, she's got tears in her eyes. Something's bothering her. Sorry, say Ori, what's wrong? I step closer to her. I know when something's up with you. You can't hide it from me. <laughs> Sorry gives me an empty laugh. That's where you're wrong, idiot. I've always been like this. You would have seen it for the first time. What do you mean? This isn't good. You weren't supposed to see me like this. I feel like I've been hit by a semi truck. Flashbacks to the card I caught Yuri Kurnis over my hallway fill my mind. I try to shake it off. Sorry, whatever it is you're going through, let me help you. You don't seem to understand it yet. I don't want to be helped. Help is for people who deserve it. So I can wrap my brain around what she's talking about. Sayori, I don't understand what you're saying. You're just going to make me spell it out for you, huh? Idiot. For all my life, I've struggled through very bad depression. I had voices in my head telling me I don't deserve happiness. Why do you think I'm late for school every day? Because most days I feel as if there's nothing worth waking up to. Why go to school when I have no future to look forward to? Why wake up when every day the pain grows more and more? Why wake up whenever I try to see the silver lining my vision is blocked by rain clouds? Tell me why I should wake up just to put the mask to hide myself. Why well, make friends and nobody does use you to feel better, make, use you to feel bad about themselves? 
when you're seen as a clumsy one or the goofy one, one who can never show in any other facial expressions between a forced smile, why wake up? When the one person who has the sole reason for going through all this pain is in love with another girl, no- Wait. For the one person who has all the sole reason for me going through all this pain is in love with- No! Sayori! No. We found out about Natsuki, we found out about Sayori, but we can't save them! No, my heart drops. I feel like my entire world has been hit by an avalanche. My entire friendship with Sayori. I've been blind this whole time. What? I pull Sayori into my arms. I hold her softly. I'm so sorry. Yuri's gonna walk in. I'm sorry. I never knew Sayori. I promise you, from now on, I'll do anything I can do every day, even a little bit better for you. Idiot. Sayori isn't holding me back. She presses her hand against my chest and pushes me away. Yeah, I thought Yuri's gonna walk in. You don't understand. No one understands. I don't want people to worry about me. It's bittersweet, you know? That word stabs at my chest. Sometimes it feels nice, and other times it feels like a hammer being smashed against my head. God. And all it makes sense to me now. Why you came here? It's the whole world wanting to punish me. I know I deserve to be pun punished, but this is beyond torture. Seeing you here, seeing you with Yuri, it's like my eyelids are forced open while I have to watch a spear go through my heart. The person driving it through me is the one I trusted the most. Every waking moment, every heartbeat, it's a crying pain. Sayori. I don't even have a slightest clue as what to do here. Step closer and interlock hands within mine. I know I can never understand what's inside your head. I know I haven't treated you the best I could have all these years. But I still know what's best for you. I give Sayori a sad smile. And I promise you that I'll always be by your side. But idiot. I remember how Yuri once told me the eyes of the windows to the soul. As if I look through Sayori's windows and peer down into a broken soul. There's only one thing for me to say. This was in the trailer. Sayori. You will always be my di- Oh my god, because in your normal game you could say you'll always be my dearest friend. Or I love you, but because we only like Yuri in this, we have to say this. Oh no, you'll always be my dearest friend. No. No, 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 no. No. Uh, oh, Noah AT. Oh, hi Noah. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, this is Monica. Look, there's some problems with the script. I'll have to fix that before the full release. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just... Hold on, let me turn that music off for you. Much better. No is recording a mod, by the way. Oh, I forgot to say, if you want to download this mod, that'll be the second link in the description. Nasty memories, that one. Let's put something a lot nicer on. Hey, okay. There we go. Oh, I should probably introduce myself, huh? As you can tell by the name box, my name's Noah. I'm a creator of this mod. You probably expect an apology for that ending, huh? Well, too bad. You just have to wait for the full release and see what happens. Wait, wait, this is the end? That's the ending? Anyway, the quest was supposed to be wrong, but like I, but like I stated, it seems like your last decision ruined my script. So I don't have the time to personally thank my team and give the credit to those who helped me. Firstly, me for writing and coding. Next, huge thanks to the department. I could have done this without them. The sprites were done by 15 Laura A and Seth Langley SAL Gaming. The fabulous CG, CGS was created by... Uh, sorry, I can't say the names. The background I used were found from various sources which can be found in the credits file. Next, I'd like to share my outstanding team of musicians. Thanks to Nintendo64, Zatak, and the nice OSTs you can expect a lot more than full launch. So yeah, these are the development team. And of course, my lead musician, Tom Strike, who is responsible for the current soundtrack you're listening to. So I'll take a moment to appreciate his work. Again, without, without them, I couldn't make this possible. So you guys are the ones on the other side of the screen, thanks. Shout out to all the playtesters if they weren't the ones with keen eyes with this mod, there'd be more mistakes than you can count. Lastly, thanks to all the people in the DDFA Discord. I'm in that Discord. You guys should join it, that's the third link in the description. Join the community. You can have a talk to all of us. Yeah, did a lot of troubleshooting there. Thanks to Tom and Minecraft for helping me out. Anyway, I think that's it. Oh, one last thank you. Not to sound cliche, but thank you, idiot, for playing my demo. I hope you enjoyed. You did You did enjoy, right? You're the only... If there was any way for me to know. Like, if I could ask you questions, have you answer them? Oh, wait, there is. I want to make the best mod possible, so the only way to do it is with feedback. Wait, is he actually gonna... Would you mind if I ask you? No way! Oh, that's cool. This is... That's cool. John, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> nice. One. Oh, well, what is the general rate of demo from a scale from 90 to 100? <laughs> Hey, an A! <laughs> Two, what do you rate the wide and army music respective categories? 
3, there are any exact numbers of tears shed through with the demo. Did you feel the girls acted in character? Did you think the MC was a likeable, relatable character? See, are there any comments or any suggestions about the mod as a whole you have? Mod! Review! <laughs> Thank you for reading the questions and taking time to play through my story. Obviously, you can answer these questions and leave a review from a mod on Reddit. Or perhaps if you're a world famous YouTuber, you can do it now! Hey! Okay, do you know Because he knows I post videos, I'm going to go back through here and find these questions. 1. What's the general way of the demo from a scale? So, like, this is a demo of the game, it definitely isn't finished yet, there's definitely a lot more work. This is only Act 1. There's multiple acts. This was Act 1, if you remember episode, the first video. That was Episode 1. And that was called Act 1. So that's, okay, so what would I call it? I would actually, from, okay, I'm not going to do 9200, I'm going to do 1 to 100. 1 has been, like, horrible, 100 being the best. I, out of 1 to 100, like, the emotions it tugs at, like, the description of the mod is, like, it'll tug at the emotions. Now, for being a demo and that, I would say it definitely gets, like, definitely in the 90s. Minimum could be, like, 87. But that's like the lowest I could possibly give it would be an 87 out of from 1 to 100. Probably say maybe 90, 95. It's, it just tugs at your emotions. And it, it just creates a, like a feeling inside you that you also can't help. It also makes you feel like you can't help the other characters. You can only save Yuri. You, it's impos I I'm pretty sure it's impossible for you to say Natsuki and say Yuri. Um, so it's like, it's like it try, you want to save them both, but you can't. So, okay, what would you rate the writing and art using their own respective categories? The writing was very good. Obviously, for me, I'm just a bit stu- I'm just stupid, so I can't read. I'm, I'm very dumb. The art, I love it. I love the art. I love any custom art put into the Doki Doki mods. I love them so much. I just think it adds, like, their own personal style to it. The music? I like this music. You guys may not have heard it as much when I was recording, so you can hear my voice better. But the music I quite liked. Some of it's, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, some, pretty, um, blah, 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 sorry, pretty sure some of the music is new, but I definitely know some of the music, I don't know how much of the music, or maybe all the music, is the normal songs but modified, I know they're changed. Okay, but any, if any, what was the exact number of tears shed through the demo? I actually, I don't shed tears, but I was like feeling upset from it and I feel like I wanted to save Say Yuri, Natsuki and Yuri, even when I only know I can save Yuri, and how Monica is having a good Yuri and like ruin it for her. Um, so let's go to question four. Did you feel like the girls acted in character? And did you think the MC was likeable slash relatable character? I think the girls acted in character. The Say Yuri, she acts the same. Natsuki, she was fine like as a sun like a Sunday. Sunday, sorry if I say it wrong, I'm, I'm stupid. Yeah, like she, she likes you, but she also keeps you away. She also, she's the, you, she's the only one she will open up to is you. So Yuri is the same with her. Obviously, that was just the ending then. Yuri, she's the same. She's goes insane to protect herself and try. And, she's not actually going insane though. I don't think. I think she, she doesn't seem insane. She just can't help with the cutting. Um, and then Monica just seems like the normal yandere. She does, to me. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Yuri doesn't seem like a yandere in this mod. But Monica's definitely a yandere, especially how she treats uh, Yuri in this mod. And Natsuki, and Sayori, how she treats the characters is just out of line. So it's like, very much Monica only wanting to be with you. Because she, she, I think it's her who calls you on the phone saying, Oh, they don't deserve you, why are you with them? Um, I think the MC was likeable. I liked him. I liked, I liked this character. Relatable? Um, I don't know what it was in sense, but I'd definitely say he was likeable. Actually, are there any comments or suggestions about the mod as a whole that you have? I think this mod has is had a lot of hard work put into it. Pretty sure this was like two months worth or something into these into like these four videos worth. So they've definitely put a lot of hard work in. You guys should definitely appreciate the mod. If you want to play it for yourself, try some of a few different options. You can download the mod for yourself. Second link in the description. No, I really like this, and one win. Mod review. Okay, yeah, I just liked this. Thanks for reading the questions, taking time to faith. Obviously, you can answer these questions on the mod on Reddit, or if you're a YouTuber, you can do it now. 
My whole team is working very passionately on making this the best mod you will ever see, so stay tuned for the full release. I will. For more information, join the Discord server, which also can be found on Reddit, or the third link in the description. Thank you, and say not say an aura. Okay. Okay, oh my god. That was a good mod, guys. I'm happy with that. When when he updates, I'm in the servers, and I talk to the creators, especially with Divided Hearts as well, and the brand new day. I try to keep on contact. If they're not finished, I try to keep in contact with the developers. So when a new day is released, they can send me the download link. I can download it instantly and upload when they update it. So when there's a new day on Fallen Angel, I will upload. Hearts Divided. Divided Hearts. I think it's Divided Hearts. I'm sorry, Spaghetto. Spaghettio. When that's updated, because that was only, that's not even a full day yet, but that was really good. I liked that as a prequel to say you're in the MC. And a brand new day. I fan from that was that, that's one of the most amazing mods out there. You can you don't just save one of the girls. You don't and you don't just choose. You save all of them. You save all of them and it goes into so much deep. It's basically a second game that mod. And that's brilliant. So guys, if you liked this video, smash that like button where it hurts. So smash the subscribe button too if you're new here and turn on that notification bell to get notified when I upload. And I'll see all you amazing people in the next video. Bye bye.